Good morning, I'm Mark Charter. Southern Arizona's largest school district says it wants input from parents, staff and students before deciding on a plan to reopen schools. At last night's school board meeting, Tucson Unified Superintendent Gabriel Trujillo said a task force will announce the plan for next fall on June 16th. In the weeks leading up to that, the district will hold forums to get input. TUSD plans to launch an opening of schools website soon, but an exact date for that has not been set. We're learning more about what the fall semester could look like at the University of Arizona. President Dr. Robert Robin sat in on a panel discussion with the leaders of his reentry task force yesterday. They talked about plans for testing and tracing students and staff, including a new phone app that has been developed and needs state approval. Plans also include using a dorm to quarantine contagious students and an infirmary for those who may develop a fever. Nearly $600 million will go to local coronavirus relief funds in Arizona. Governor Doug Ducey says $441 million is going to local governments in flexible funding, while $150 million will be available for fast-tracked FEMA reimbursements. Cities, towns, and counties that didn't get money through the CARES Act will get those funds. They will come from the Arizona CARES Fund established by the governor's office. Talking weather now, gusty winds and climbing highs will continue as we head into the second half of the week. The excessive heat warning begins at noon today and will continue through Sunday. Slight storm chances will bring us a little relief, so stay cool and remember, drink lots of water. And of course, for more news and weather updates, head to our website, kegun9.com.